wait for anybody else to come to the rescue. You created the mess that you're in through your words, your thoughts, and your actions. So take responsibility for your actions. Uh, get control of your actions. Say you're sorry if you need to, and then move forward. Get off your butt and go to work. And you can take those principles and apply them to anything. That's what I do. It's what I've done personally in my life. And it seems to be what people recognize me, and that's part of my brand again that I started this conversation with. I mean, that's very recognizable. When people say Larry Wingett, he's the personal responsibility guy. Yes, I am. And when you develop that as a part of your brand, uh, then people can expect that from you. And not only just expect it, they come to count on you for that. And when you get a large fan base counting on you for information, and, and especially information in one area, like I'm the responsibility guy, and then I can drive that across different topics, then they're going to buy your stuff. That's really interesting. I was reading recently about owning what, what people are calling a meme or, a, or um, an, an idea, and owning personal responsibility, like you say, can cover so many different areas that you're really setting yourself up for writing lots of books in the future. So taking that on talk a bit more tell us more about your kids are your own fault what's that all about tell us about that new book well it's uh taking my one idea of personal responsibility and driving across in the area of parenting i think the world is in crisis and it doesn't matter where you live we we're in an economic crisis there's a housing crisis there are people who are are not responsible for paying their bills on time. They're blaming other people, and there's a sense of entitlement that they are owed a living and, uh, and a bailout. And, and so what I've done is step back and say, that problem, the crisis we have that crosses all boundaries, uh, whether it be financial, personal, drugs, sex, you name it, is all due to bad parenting. We have to give our kids the skills to deal with the issues. We have to get to the point that, that people don't think it's okay not to pay their bills or not to do the right thing or, to, or that it's, uh, you know, recently, and this is just a, a prime example, I had someone steal my name. I had a little bit of identity theft issue on the Internet. And on Facebook, somebody took Larry Wingett. And then he wrote me and said, here's the deal. I'll let you have your name back. First of all, he was an idiot because you can't let somebody have their name back. Once it's taken on Facebook, they've got it forever and it can't be undone. So he took my name on Facebook and he said, I'll let you have it back in exchange for some time because I want to talk to you and let you coach me on how to be successful. <laughs> and, uh, of course, what a great way to get my attention. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, uh, filed identity theft stuff with him, but I'll still never become Facebook uh, slash Larry com like most people can have their name because this guy took my name. But when I wrote about it, and I had a cover story on the, in the New York Times, they interviewed me about it. When I wrote about it, the sad thing was 25% of the people who responded to that said this guy was right and I was wrong, and I ought to shut up, stop wanting, and get a life. He had every <laughs> right to take my name and hold me hostage. And see, I just think that's a pitiful state of affairs, and that's just an example. That's a pitiful state of affairs in our world when you've got 25% of the people thinking that taking something that doesn't belong to you is okay. So what I've done in Your Kids Are Your Own Fault is ask that every parent be responsible. We don't get to blame school systems. We don't get to blame governments. We have, a, we have to go back to the way we parent. We have a crisis. We're raising a generation of children who are not going to outlive their parents. We have obesity at an all-time high, education at an all-time low. We are over-medicating our children. Uh, for the most part, they can't read. They can't write. They can type with their thumbs on their cell phones, but that's about it. Uh, and... It's a shame that we're wanting to blame mothers. So I ask that parents look at their children, figure out what they would like their child to be like at 35 years old, the responsible, productive adult they would like their child to become, and then work backwards. Figure out what your child is going to need to know in order to become that 35-year adult. And it's, my book is not a how-to book. I don't how, care how you get little Johnny to eat his vegetables or how you get him to brush his teeth or go to bed or clean up his room. That, to me, doesn't matter. I don't care how you do that. I don't even care if you do that. What I care about is what you teach your child, and we need to be teaching our children about money, how to make it, how to save it, how to manage it, how to invest it, how to be charitable with it, and how to enjoy it. 
We need to be teaching our kids about health and the environment and honesty and integrity and that when you sign your name on something, it's serious. So your kids are your own fault. The subtitle is A Guide to Raising Responsible, Productive Adults. It's not a how to raise your kids books. It's a what to teach your kid book. Do you think there's a particular type of parent that should read this book, or do you think all parents should? I can't uh, figure out who this book would not work for because it is just... Uh, showing parents what they need to be teaching their children in terms of uh, uh, what principles and attitudes toward life and success and business and finance that they should have in order to be successful. I, I did a, an interview this week about the book, and someone asked me, they said, don't you think that this book is so politically incorrect? And I said, you know, I just think it's a damn shame and I do think the book is, in, is in politically incorrect, but I just think it's a damn shame when we've reached a place in our society when taking responsibility for your actions, uh, telling the truth, knowing how to handle your money, uh, understanding what it takes to be nice to people and keep your word to people and be respectful of others. I think it's a shame when those things have become politically incorrect. And that's all I'm asking that people do, is, is teach people how to do the things that seems like we've lost in the last couple of generations. And so when, these, when parents read the books, your book, what, what will really happen to them? I mean, will, will they get despondent? Will they, will they feel desperate? Or, or I mean, are, they gonna, <laughs> are you an inspirational guy? I mean, what, what's going to happen? What are they going to feel and think? Well, the way I approach everything is, number one, and it really is my goal. I try to make people uncomfortable with whatever it is I do. And that's the goal of all my books. I make people uncomfortable. I don't believe in motivation. Uh, I don't think I can motivate you from where you are to a better place. I'll guarantee you, though, I can make you so uncomfortable with where you are that you'll do anything to go to a better place. So my, uh, my number one goal is to make people uncomfortable. And I do that in the parenting book, just like I've done in all my other books. So if you read this, uh, your kids are your own fault, and you become uncomfortable with the way you're parenting, and people should uh, become uncomfortable. Looking at society, and I point those things out, uh, how they can look at our society and realize that we're in the middle of a mess. So if they become uncomfortable, that's when they are willing and open to change, but only when they become uncomfortable. So if I've made people uncomfortable and they're willing to change, then what they can do is they'll find in this book some uh, guidelines that they can follow to open up lines of communication, to improve discipline, uh, give them some ideas actually for punishment, uh, talk about areas of education. Uh, across the board, things they can actually do to become inspired and, and get to a better place as a parent and with their children. So yeah, there'll be some inspiration, but yeah, there is going to be a lot of discomfort along the way too. What are you doing next? What, have you got another book on the burner? What's, what's the next oh, I've one? always got a book on the burner. I've <laughs> got a couple of different directions I could go. I could, uh, I can move my philosophy over into a book about relationships. I, uh, I can go back and cover business again. I could also exploit uh, to a much uh, uh, um, different level the idea of personal finance and teenagers and young adults sort of taking a combination of what this book is about, that your kids are your own fault, plus that you're broke because you want to be book, and just take uh, personal finance to another level. So I've got a lot of different areas I could go, and sort of the, the way this book sells and what the response is to this book will sort of determine which direction I go, whether I go back to finance, business, or move on into the area of personal relationships. Is there anything else you want to tell everybody? <laughs> no, you did a good job. Your questions were terrific, and uh, I hope that's what you needed uh, uh, needed from the interview. I appreciate the opportunity. Oh, Larry, it's great to talk to you. I've got to say, you have been a hero of mine for quite a while now, so it's lovely to talk to you. You know, one of my little dreams come true. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. This is Larry Wingett. I've just written a new book called Your Kids Are Your Own Fault, A Guide for Raising Responsible, Productive Adults. We have a crisis in our society right now, and I can tie all of the crises that we're facing back to bad parenting. If we want to turn our world around, we have to raise our kids so they have the ability to manage their finances, take responsibility for their lives, 
and be better people. When we do that, we can change our world. To find out more information, just go to LarryWinget.com, W-I-N-G-E-T, or your kids are your own fault.com. Thanks. Give it a look. I hope you'll buy it.